Just so your parents know, I might have just said, hey, there's a bunny out there. It's probably delicious. <laughs> it, it probably is. You know why? Because they taste delicious. <laughs> now, do I hunt? Absolutely not. Have I had friends who hunt and bring me bunny? Yes. Uh, whatever. Okay, here we go. Scientific notation. Yesterday, we learned that it was a shortcut from, and I'm going to add some new words here, what we're going to call standard form. Standard form is how we write numbers normally. And most, yesterday, it wasn't really a lot of notes. It was mostly examples. The same thing is going to happen today. So you're going to change it from standard form to scientific notation. That's it. Let's do a couple examples, and then we'll move on. 375,400,000. And I told you yesterday, and I'm going to be very specific with this, I need you to draw a line where you're going to place the decimal. Okay. So where do I need to draw that line between? What two numbers do I need to draw the line between? Swill, what do you think? Uh, Take a guess. What's the worst thing happening? You're going to be wrong? Seven and, five. seven and five. That's a good guess. If I put it here, can my first number be 37? No. <laughs> do you want to guess again? Okay, that's fine. Maddie? Uh, between, the three and seven. between the 3 and the 7. So I'm physically going to draw my line right there. Once I do that, I need to keep all of the numbers that aren't 0. So I'm going to keep 3. Where my line is is where my decimal goes. 7, 5, 4. I don't need any of the zeros. Who feels brave enough to try to say this? Go ahead, Sammy. Jimmy and no, 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 I want you to say this number. Do you feel brave enough to say that? Three. Three. Okay, that's all right. Evan? Three and seven hundred Very good. Tenths, hundredths, thousands. Three and seven hundred fifty-four thousands. Excellent. Now that I've put my line between the three and the seven, where does the number end at? Does the number end at the 3, or does it go to the right? right? To the right. There is a reason that we're using bunny hops. Please, please, please use the bunny hops, because you're going to need to for today. I'm now going to count from my line to the end of the number. One bunny hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our base is always times 10, because each number value is another power of 10. Well, what is my exponent going to be with that 10? B? 8. 8. So 375,400,000 can be written as 3 and 754 thousandths times 10 to the 8th. Scientific notation. Easy? Yeah. Well, what happens when it's a smaller number? Let's go 0. 0.00000000000000. Zero, 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 so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 zeros before the number. I want you to change it to scientific notation. All I need you to do first is draw the line where you think the decimal is going to need to be. So write the number, draw the line. If you think you can move on from that, great. But I need to see the number written. Draw the line where you think it needs to be. Good. Okay, so for my first number, 8,421. I'm going to be 8,421.9. Don't go backwards. Hold 
Man, I hope that I still press record. I don't think I do. Sure, man. Did I press record? So, if not, I'm going to blame you. Oh, I did. You're off, you're off the hook. You're off the hook. Good. Okay. Who remembers what does our first number need to be between, Isabel? Um, eight and four. In general, what does our first number need? Yes, you're right. But in general, what does our first number need to be in between? Between the first like, number. Let's see. Megan. Yeah, and it, it can't be ten. So it needs to be at least one. So our first number can be one, but it must be less than ten. Now, back to you, Isabella. You told me, where does it need to be between? Between eight and four. Eight and four. So this is now where my new decimal is going to go. So I'm going to write eight and then this number. Okay, somebody brave. I need to say it. Let's get somebody new. Let's get somebody new. Go ahead, Andy. Eight and, good. So you're doing very good. You're trying to break it down. You're saying four tenths, two hundredths, close. We're going to put it all in one. Go ahead, Evan. Uh, four, 80. Eight, eight and 4,219 million. No, not millions. Not millions. Sure. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Uh, so this is 4,219 ten thousandths. Then we know the base is going to be times ten to something. We start where our line is and we work ourselves to the beginning of the number. The beginning of the number, in this case, is to which direction? Right or left? Left. To the left. How many bunny hops do you think it is, Sammy? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Am I going to put a twelve? Negative. No, negative twelve. Why is it negative? What tells me that it's going to be negative? Carly? Because you're moving the decimal to the left. Because we're moving it to the left. Very good. Questions there? We should feel pretty confident going to scientific notation. Put it into standard form. So again, not a lot of notes, just examples. So standard form is how we usually write numbers. This is how I would usually write a number. This is how I would usually write a number. Most of you don't come into school saying, oh, I know scientific notation. Let me write numbers like that. You know how to write 1,000, not 1 times 10 to the third. Okay. So we're putting it into standard form. I'm giving you scientific notation. We are going to write it as a number that we know how to see and say. So when we do this, we're going to break it down into steps. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write 3, 4, 5 with no decimals whatsoever. Three, four, five. Everybody with me? I'm going to put a little line lightly where my decimal is. And then I'm going to look at my exponent. Is it positive? Is it negative? Because that's going to tell me the directions of my bunny hops. It's what? David, which way? It's a positive. It's positive. So which way do I have to move my bunny hops? Right. What is this way? To the, right. to the right. So at my very light line, I am going to physically show the bunny hops, and you need to. This is important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What are we going to place in the bunny hops that have nothing, Haley? Zeros. zeros. So place a zero, 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 zero. And I want you to rewrite that number clean. 
three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, comma after every three. That's standard form. 345 million. Still with me? Isabella. Couldn't you just know that three is going to be the whole number and then we can just subtract um, the two that are already up there by eight? You could and then put six zeros. If you want to do it that way, I would love for you to. Just make sure that you don't confuse yourself because it's going to get a little confusing here now. Okay, so if you try to use that method, just be very, very careful. So that was with a positive exponent and a decimal already shown. So we're changing it from scientific to standard. Go, try it. I still want you to put the line where the decimal is. Because there is a decimal even if it's not there. So you need to know where the decimal will be. So here's my question. Hey, Jackson, where's the decimal? After the, four. After the four, because four can be written as four and zero tenths times 10 to the third. Every whole number can have a decimal with a zero. So when I rewrite this, I put my light little line, right? Because we don't necessarily need that to be big. Times 10 to the third. Third, positive, to the right. One bunny hop, two bunny hops, three bunny hops. One, two, three. Gives me 4,000. No troubles, right? Pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to give you two. You're going to try these on your own. Actually, let's just start with one. We'll just start with one. Once you get it, talk it over with the person next to you. Let's go... 3 times 10 to the negative 12. So 3 times 10 to the negative 12. Be careful with this. Okay, this time you can use point. So, Caleb, do you have it? Yeah. Caleb, can you give me the number? Point what? Read it to me. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do you have 12 zeros? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if that's right or wrong, okay? It's probably a very good mistake because it's not quite right. I'm going to write my three. Because I know it's negative, I'm not going to write my three over on my left side of my paper because I know that I'm going to have to move to the left. I'm going to write it on the right side of my paper. Where is the decimal with three? Behind the What do you mean behind? Which side, right or left? It would be the right side. So my decimal starts there. So when I start my bunny hops, I count backwards, one. It includes that three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I finish with a decimal. 
So I fill in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 zeros. Okay, Caleb, you see where you made your mistake? Not too hard, right? It needs to be 12 numbers, not 12 zeros. Very good. It needs to be 12 numbers, not 12 zeros. Yeah, it's, it's 12 places. Remember yesterday we talked about place value? So even if there are digits, like three, four, five, in the place, you still count that place. And we're gonna, we're gonna give it a little trouble because right here there are 12 places. There's not, even though it says times 10 to the negative 12, it won't always just be 12 places. So here's two more. So stand, change again to standard form. Four and 75 hundredths times 10 to the fifth. And let's go three and 921 thousandths times 10 to the negative seven. Try those two. Once you get them, raise your hand. We'd like to come around and see. Positive exponents are going to be moving to the right. Negative exponents are moving to the left. See your number with all your bytes. So rewrite this number with no bytes. Yeah. Grego, for the first one, tell me what your number is. Tell me the exact number. So give me all the digits. 4753000. Just like that? Yep. What goes in between them? The five and zero. What goes right there? A comma. A comma. So this is 475,000. Why? Because I want you to rewrite it first off. But you're going to need to show me this step too. So there's my light line. Positive five, one bunny hop, two bunny hops, three, four, five, zero, zero, zero. Rewrite the number. Don't give me this. Okay, this is not your answer. This is your answer. Everybody with me? Okay, how about the second one? Let's get somebody new. I need the second one. Come on, come on, come on. I saw a bunch of people. Brooklyn, you have it? You can just say point. Point zero, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Okay. So I'm going to put three, nine, two, one. The decimal started between the three and the nine. Negative is to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Decimal zero, 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 zero. Notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten digits. This seven doesn't always correspond to the digits. It corresponds to the place values that we've jumped. Everybody with me? Yep. Questions on standard form or scientific notation? Okay, classwork assignment. Four problems. The only way to get a zero is if you don't do it. So get out a clean sheet of paper. We're going to come around and check. This is for a grade. So one and two. Put into 
scientific notation. Make sure your first and last name are on this. Three and four. You still may use your notes. Put into standard form. Okay, so first two you're putting into scientific notation. Three and four you're putting into standard form. Make sure your first and last name are on your sheet that you're turning in. So for number two, I'm going to show you how many zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm putting nine just to show you the zeros. Okay, that way there's no excuses. Oh, I didn't write it down correctly. These are your four. Once you're done, you're going to turn these in. Okay. 